Hey, everybody. Welcome to week 12 of Celebrate Wonder with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue. And I'm here with Miss Laurie and Laud the Lamb. And I just was taking a break, having a nice cup of coffee in my kitchen. Well, mm. what are you I, doing, Miss Laurie? Well, I'm, I'm making some, some cookies. Um, I'm making some cookies. You look my like you're working kids, hard. My, my kids were a little bit blue this morning before they went to school. Just kind of sad. So I thought, well, maybe I'll make them some cookies. That might make them feel better when they get home. Obviously makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, plus I like the raw cookie dough too. So, but yeah, I think it might make them feel better. That, so sounds, like, that sounds like a great idea. What a nice way to give some hospitality yeah. and love. Kind of makes me feel like I ought to get busy over here. Oh, well. You know, we, we can't, drinking coffee is very important too. I think so. That's hospitality. That's good. Well, why don't we have another sip of coffee? I'll meet up uh, with you at the wonder table. What do you say? No, you don't drink coffee. Mm. Lambs should never drink coffee. Don't ask me how I know, but we know. Pastor should. See you in a minute. Yeah. All right. See you there. Hello, everybody. And we are at our wonder table. Cookies are in the oven. It's all good. Now, we're going to start, like we always do, by lighting our candle. Yes, the candle, not the ling. job there, Pastor Meredith. Yeah. Oh, oh, our guide word. <laughs> our guide word is guide. See, right here. Guide. We've been talking about different guides in our life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've been talking about Jesus as being our guide. And we have our Bible story today that starts with a meal with Mary and Martha welcoming Jesus into their home and sharing a meal. And that got me thinking about cooking meals. I got to decide what to cook for supper tonight at my house. Oh, I do too. Yeah. But then I was thinking about Miss Laurie, when people come to visit you, do you like to prepare a meal for them special? Oh, I do. And I mean, it depends on what they've come over for, but yeah, I like to offer something, you know, like in the summertime, a lot of times we like to, you know, have the pool open and have the grill going. So people could have maybe hot dogs or hamburgers. And, you know, we have the plates and we have the food and we have the chips and, you know, just your standards and drinks. So people don't have to ask for things all the time. They just, it's right there and they can have them. Yeah. Well, Miss Laurie, that has me just ready for summertime. I know. You can tell where my mind is. I'm with you. I'm back well, in the pool. Mm -hmm. Our Bible story today, and we want to encourage everybody to read, get out your Bible and read this together as a household. It is in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. And those notes are in your activity guide, so look that up. But our story today is about where the sisters, Mary and Martha, who are good friends of Jesus, they invite Jesus into their home. And of course, it was a custom. It was customary if you had somebody to come into your home, just like what we often do, to offer them a meal. So Mary and Martha were uh, working really carefully to take care of Jesus, who was their guest, and they wanted him to feel welcome. However, Martha really got uh, involved in getting that meal ready. And I think she was making something probably pretty fancy, maybe something fancier than, than um, making grill and hot dogs, which is one of my favorite things to do. But I think she was probably doing something fat, fancy, like maybe she was making beef stroganoff. I don't know, but she was mm -hmm. making something fancy. But Mary went in and she sat with Jesus and she listened to him teach. As we go on in the Bible story, Martha gets really frustrated with her sister, Mary, because Mary's not helping her make the fancy meal and get it all ready. And so she says, Jesus, aren't you going to get on my sister? I can't believe she's not helping me. And Jesus says, no, Mary has chosen a good path. And you can go ahead and slow down, Martha, and come and enjoy this time with me as well. 
you know, in our story, I think we need to remember that really neither sister was doing anything wrong. They were just responding differently to Jesus being with them. Mary sat with Jesus and she listened to him teach and Martha wanted him to feel very most welcome as she was working her hardest to make a wonderful special meal for him and serving in that kind of way. And, um, that was so uh, wonderful. Martha, though, I think learned something. She didn't really realize that um, Jesus didn't just come for a meal, but he came to build relationships with them and to love them, which is really cool. So why don't we um, roll our wonder cube? So if you have your wonder cube at home, we want to encourage you to use this. You roll it and you go with the question. Oh, I rolled right off the screen. Okay. Mine says, I wonder what is your favorite part of the Bible story? You know, funny enough, my favorite part of the Bible story is that we get this really kind of great picture of Mary and Martha being sisters together. Because, you know, I have a sibling. I know what it's like. And we get scrappy together sometimes and make different choices, right? So in our story, I, I really like that Mary and Martha made different choices and Jesus talks with each of them. And and I don't know, we get to see that. What about you, Miss Laurie? What do you got for your Wonder Cube? Let's see. What is the most important part of the Bible story? Hmm. No, no. The most important part was not the meal. I think Lod's hungry. But I think the most important part was recognizing that we all show our hospitality maybe a little bit differently. That there's no right or wrong way they were both trying to make jesus feel special and welcome in their own way nice i think you're right Definitely. yeah well we encourage you to use your wonder cube and ask those wonder questions and use the questions in your kit to wonder together but uh we want you to uh, get ready now we'll have our bible story video that is coming up right now you ready shall we watch our video i'm ready let's do it Hi everyone, it's Samuel. This is the story about two different sisters. Jesus comes to visit his friends, Mary and Martha, at their home to have a meal. Martha is making sure the house is perfect. She's cooking and cleaning, and making sure Jesus feels welcome. On the other hand, Mary is sitting with Jesus. She's listening to his stories and learning from his teaching. Mary and Martha are both trying to make sure Jesus has a great stay with them, and they're doing it their own way. There's only one problem. Martha gets really upset that Mary is sitting with Jesus. She doesn't understand how Mary can just relax and talk while she's doing all the work to prepare the meal. Just like Martha, it can be very easy for us to judge people if they don't act how we would act or how we think they should act. Martha was mad at her sister Mary because she wasn't helping her. But Martha didn't realize that Jesus didn't come for a meal. He came to have a relationship and a conversation with them. One time, I was going to a friend's birthday party. I wanted to get the perfect gift. I was looking for it all day and finally got it. But I was too late to the party. I thought the perfect gift would make me a good friend. My friend was grateful for the gift, but I could tell my friend was sad that I had missed so much of the party. Sometimes you forget just being with a friend is enough. Martha showed Jesus love by preparing their home. Mary showed Jesus love by sitting down and listening to him. Mary and Martha are both guides who showed us different ways to be with Jesus and connect to God. Now it's time for you to wonder. Hi everybody, you probably noticed in your kit, there's no activity bag for week 12. And sometimes we have that because these are things that are gonna come from your own home. You're gonna assemble some things and think about and share with your family what they are and why you chose them. This Bible story talks about showing hospitality and making people feel welcomed and 
how we go about doing that. And it's all different things. So in my toolbox, the first thing I have is a coffee mug. Oh, Miss Laurie, I love coffee. Because if somebody comes over to the house, especially in the morning time, I always offer them a cup of coffee. And sometimes you have great conversations as grown-ups over a cup of coffee or a Capri Sun or anything. But when you have friends over, we have to remember that they're visiting us. And, you know, we have to show hospitality. Um, oh, I have a little platter here because sometimes I'll offer, like, have, put some snacks out. I don't force people to have them, but it's nice to have them out and say, if you're hungry, have a snack. Oh, I have a teddy bear. It's actually a dog toy, but it's a cute little teddy bear. Maybe you have somebody over who is uh, maybe a little sad. It's always nice to offer them something that, you know, maybe they could love, right? To love on? Sure. And here's a big one for my kids. Crayons. When they would have friends over, we'd have to remind them to share their crayons and their toys to make who, who, their friends that came over feel welcome. Right? Because I think Jesus would do that. What do you think, Pastor Meredith? I think so. I love this activity. So you want us to, everybody, to take a couple of minutes to gather up some things in their household that show how we can help welcome people mm -hmm. and then show them and share them together with the people in our family and talk about why we picked them. I love yeah. this activity. I'm going to do this right away with my girls. A lot of grief. Enjoy it, everybody. What a great idea. Love it. So take some time. Have fun. Hi adults, it's time for our spiritual practice for this week. And we've been talking about hospitality and serving and our Bible story of Mary and Martha. So your spiritual practice this week is to think of somebody who might need some hospitality uh, this week, somebody that you know, and then consider how that you might be able to help that person and offer that hospitality. Maybe you could send a gift. Maybe you could bring them a cup of coffee. Maybe you could go uh, for a little quick porch visit, have a quick phone call. Um, send them a beautiful note, a thank you card, something like that. Um, but just be, think about who it is that you could offer some hospitality to this week and then give them that service as a way to show your love for God and love of Jesus and to be a part of that wonderful service in the world. Enjoy this week, adults. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Thank you again for joining us for week 12 of Celebrate Wonder. We had a wonderful time today. And don't forget your celebration chart. Mark those things off that you're doing and let us know. And I think we're going to end today with a special prayer. We are. We've been talking about how um, important it is, of course, to listen to Jesus. And it doesn't matter how it is we serve Jesus, as long as we listen to Jesus and follow his instructions for our lives. So we're going to learn a special prayer. This is in your activity kit too, so you can do it all as a household. That's called stops, stops. So hold up your hand like you're saying, stop. Okay. And then you use your fingers to help you remember the prayer. The first one is you spell the word stops with this. So S is for stop. So like if you're feeling panicked or you need a minute to listen to Jesus, first thing you do, stop. Then the next thing you do is T, take a breath. Okay, let's take a breath. Then O, offer my feelings to God. I'm feeling a little frustrated, God. Okay. And then P, pray for peace. God, give me peace. And then S, seek ways to serve. How is it I could serve in the middle of this? So S, T, O, P, S. Stop, take a breath, 
offer my feelings to God, pray for peace, seek to serve. Should we do it one more time? Okay, everybody, stop, take a breath, offer my feelings to God. What's your feelings for God, Laurie? For spring to come as soon as possible. P, let's pray for peace. Give us peace. And S, seek ways to serve. Oh, I think I can serve by getting ready to make my family supper tonight. Uh, I think I will do the same. All right. Use your stops prayer, everybody, this week. And it's been so good to see you. Stick around for a few minutes for, of course, our music video. Uh, follow as you go. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.